Hello and welcome to another short drawing lesson. This week we're going to draw the Ferrari 512S, the sports car from the 1970s. First thing we'll do is a front wheel over here. Next we'll do another one, a slightly larger wheel, two and a tiny bit wheels further back. So there's one, two and a tiny bit. Next wheel. Next we need the bottom of the car, which is very close to the ground, horizontal, and then it drops down at the last section. Something like that. And it can carry on level with that at the front um, for about three quarters of a wheel. So if it's one wheel, three quarters is about there. There's the nose. So a slight upright bit. Then you want to head up above the front wheel, follow it around for a bit. Slope downwards slightly, not too tightly. Then level with the top of your wheel, you need a horizontal line. And if you measure from the back wheel forwards, one wheel, go up, that's about where we need to have a little step. We'll do the rear wheel arch now, which is a vertical here. Oh, there's a vertical. Um, and the horizontal chops the top of the wheel off. Like that. And you can round that section. Um, for the length of it, we'll measure half a wheel. Go up to here, make a little mark. And that's about where the tail's going to end. So from here we need now the top edge and it needs to pull back with a slight curve and get slightly wider as it gets towards the back. Come on, pen. Might work. And then we've got a sloping back edge. Now we need the cockpit. Actually, before we do that, we'll do the... There's a join here in the bodywork with a polished bit beneath. And at the step, we can put a slope there, a slope there, and that's our door. And now we can do the back edge of the window front the, uh, the back edge of the front screen is halfway between these in that door space a bit of a curve and the windscreen is very slopy there's a curved top and then it after this pillar it curves the other way to blend into the tail so there's our basic shape um, now we can do the fun stuff. We'll put the ground in, I think, to stop it looking like it's flying. That will act as a shadow. And while we're there, we'll do the, um, the wheels on the far side of the car. And we'll darken the underneath. And that'll all help make it feel like it's a bit more three-dimensional. All of this can be dark in there. Sound effects. Here we can have this side window. And in the front windscreen we can see the steering wheel, a bit of the dashboard. There's a, an air, air box on the back there as well. Right at the end of the, t end of the tail we've got a couple of big flaps. Aerodynamics were still a bit um, trial and error in these days. So we've got some lights sitting under there and a strut holding the tail up. Maybe the gearbox various other bits hanging down in there, perhaps the exhaust. It can all be dark because it's in the shade. Um, moving to the front of the car, we've got a sticker to go on there. Sometimes you get these extra fins on the front. 
and a rear view mirror. On the side here on the door we've got a big round off with a number to go on. And you can choose your own number, but the one I photographed recently had a 23. Some numbers are easier to draw than others. 23 is one of the harder ones, I think. Threes are difficult. Along the bottom edge here we can have some rivets. There were some lights for the number there. We need the join for the back. Goes on there, and there's a catch to stop the tail flapping up. Another little sticker here. Big sticker on the tail. Another little sticker here and the little sliding window for the driver. And I think maybe on this one we'll, we'll add a bit of detail to the wheels. Um, I don't know, we can divide this space up into five. Do a little star shape in there. Hopefully it'll look a bit like the Ferrari wheels. And we've coloured in those gaps. And this back wheel, because it's tucked underneath the uh, tail, should have a shadow across it. Try to do your shading quite neat, it definitely helps. It stops your sketch looking scruffy. Maybe some text on the tyre. Could have a little shadow across the top of the front wheel too. Not quite so much. And we'll star in there too. They're quite tricky. Shadow in there. And we can finish off this front wheel arch a bit too. Darken up inside the roof area. And I think that's pretty much everything. Not too difficult, hopefully. Um, pretty groovy car. If you've enjoyed that one and you want to have another go, see what you can do if you make it really, really short. You end up with a nice cartoony one. Right, hope that was fun. Um, like and subscribe if you'd like to see some more. Otherwise, have a great week and um, hopefully see you again soon.